Live from beautiful Coors Field here in Denver, Colorado. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Boston Red Sox going up against the Colorado Rockies. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about to get underway, and on the hill, the big righty, number 29. Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club, and what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him, and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point, maybe it's the motion, but just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. All right, ready to get underway. And now the DH, Rob Ref Snyder. The other way, and that's just foul. Righty to the plate. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. And the pitch. And another ball. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. 2-2 two -two now. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. This looks like extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Everything was mechanically sound with that swing right there. I mean, that's pretty much what you're wanting to replicate with every rep you take. You want good balance, barrel directly to the baseball, and good long extension after contact out in front of home plate. Man, there are a lot of doubles in a swing like that. Now batting Jaron Duran. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. One down. As we check out the lineup for the Boston Red Sox, a guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Sedane Rafaela. Well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position, are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close late game situation with runners in scoring position and just see, is he truly a machine or That's not? That misses now two and two one out the runner at second and we're just getting started here in the top of the first good job to fight that one off flew open a little bit with that front shoulder but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch keep the bat alive this one popped up. Foul ground first base side. And O'Neill is retired. And there's two away. That is cool. the third base Rafael Devers. And it's Rafael Devers in the box. Ref Snyder at second with two down. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest oh, in baseball right now. And he deals. That's off the mark. And the count is three and one. Connor Wong waiting for a turn at the plate. Man on second, two down. Ground ball right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One left for the Red Sox. The Rockies coming up. We've got no score. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Coors Field. And today's starter, Cooper Criswell. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. 
I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Swings and misses. Slider right there. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle two strikes. The one-two. That one to first. Gonzalez. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. One up, one down. Time to check out the Rockies lineup. And one of the most exciting young stars in the sport, Brenton Doyle. And Boog, he's their team leader in home runs, so you know the pitchers on that other side, man. They took a lot of time preparing for him in that pregame meeting. You know, he's got a lot of pop, and it's real pop. It's not fluky at all. He can absolutely change the outlook of a game very quickly. So watch out when he steps in. On the ground to short. Sends it across the first. And two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. McMahon. Two outs, base is empty. Brian McMahon steps to the plate. The wide to kick the pitch. Clobber to right field, way back. A gigantic blast. And that gives him a lead. It's 1-0. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. Just an excellent swing all the way around. And it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive. Short to the baseball. Squared it up. And the backspin carried it out of here. So two away with nobody on. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Elias Diaz. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And the righty deals. Two-two to count. Ground ball left side. The throw to first. And that will end the inning. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's an early 1-0 lead. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here in Denver, here's the speedy catcher, Connor Wong. This guy is an elite level hitter, especially considering contact, just the ability to hit for average. What you really like, though, stays in against those righties, and that's not so easy as a right-handed batter. The pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. There's some players, for whatever reasons, they seem to just face a slew of right-handed pitchers, and their comfort level increased so much that they actually prefer to face that same side thrower in a tough situation. That is good. Still stepping in for Boston, Romy Gonzalez. And a pitch. Off That's the mark Boston. there. Two balls and a strike. Yeah, most guys struggle against the same side, whether it's left on left or right on right. And this guy's an exception. Next offering, he 
is in for a strike. That's towards center. Doyle settles under it. Doyle makes the catch. That is the second baseman, Jamie Westbrook. Jamie Westbrook up next for the Red Sox. Now all even up. Well struck right field. That's down. One hops off the wall. Around third. Now a relay to the plate. He scores, and the Red Sox tie it up. It's 1-1. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Man at second with one away. And here is Sidane Rafaela. Here comes a pitch. Rafaela tries to hold up, appeal to first. No swing. He held up. Patrick Johnson with the call there. That's hard hit in the line. Hilliard makes the catch, and there's two down. And next for the Red Sox, David Hamilton. Westbrook at second with two down. The shortstop takes the ball. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Ball. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And that's ball three. Ball out there on the mound. He's got to go right after this hitter because you don't want to turn this lineup over. This is the guy that you've got to get that final out, get out of this inning. On the ground. It's through for a hit. Around third. Now a long throw home. It's offline. The run comes in. It's 2-1. Comes through with the RBI. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Rob Ref Snyder up next for the Red Sox. The 3-1. Out towards right center field. Goodman under it. And that is that. They get two runs on three hits. No errors and one left. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Red Sox two and the Rockies one. We head to the bottom of the go. second. Portland Digging Hawkins. in, it's the speedy outfielder, the Brenton team. Doyle. The 2 1. And a swing and a miss there. Struck him out looking. Now it's Brendan Rodgers. And here it comes. And now one and two. One ball, two strikes. The line of the pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. And that's doubted away. Home team down a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Into center and a base hit. That is set. The first base hit. Michael. One gone runner at first. 
Michael Tolia digging in for the Rockies. the turn at second and they'll have runners at the corners after a one out single two consecutive base hits for this team off the bat it was headed for the gap all the way and as a hitter you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box you know you've got some real estate to run on and such a good feeling nice liner into the gap right there one away runners at first and third Hunter Goodman digging in for the Rockies Two on, one out. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Right-hander kicks, deals. And a big swing and a miss. Well, in this situation with a runner on first, less than two outs, some say, hey, get the ground ball double play with two strikes. Some people say get the strikeout. I think you just execute your pitch, make the best pitch you possibly can. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive side of the game, right? I mean, missed opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third, one out, couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams, they go to. They operate on this level of next man up. That mentality is what causes them to win series, get into the postseason. That helps keep the energy and morale high in the dugout. And now Sam Hilliard. Swing and a miss, struck him out. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. And we're back, top half of the third inning. Here's the left fielder, Jaron Duran. Duran. The pitch. and now maybe extra bases around first and hustling for second not stopping he's going for three and he's got a leadoff triple well oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there man I love the hustle out of the box right there to make that triple happen and just an absolute laser into the opposite field gap he was digging hard the entire way Here's Tyler O'Neill. The pitch. Though Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Duran at third with nobody out. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now. Doesn't even matter that much if your starter well, doesn't go that plate. deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. The three one. This to third. McMahon fires over to first. Rudder scores, though. That's a little insurance, and the lead is two. Now it's Devers at the plate. One out, base is empty. And yep. another ball. Two, two down. Just misses without one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. 
Now a high fly ball out to left center. Hilliard sizing this one up. Makes the grab and there's two gone. Connor Wong now at the plate. When he steps into the batter's box, the comfort level looks so high. It doesn't matter what kind of delivery that pitcher has, what kind of velocity, what kind of secondary stuff. He is so settled in there, he owns the home plate area. Red Sox leading it by two. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Next okay. offering is outside. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And that one off the inside edge. You walked him. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. So digging in, Romy Gonzalez. Lace down the line. Could be extra bases. Wong around second, headed for third. Coming home. He'll score easily. It's 4 1. And it's scored position with two away. Jamie Westbrook up next for the Red Sox. Next pitch is outside. Man, it's second. Three balls. One strike. In the dirt, blocked. Well done behind the dish. Activity in the bullpen. Cal Quantrill appears to be getting loose. At the belt and fires. That one in there across the letters. Three balls, two strikes. The pitch. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. That's back there. It has the distance gone. A massive home run. It's 6 1. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run to the slight opposite field into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. So two down, and stepping in for Boston, Sidane Rafaela. Hey. On the corner for a strike. Well, a really rough inning out there on the mound. And uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. Two down, nobody on. Ball. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game. And looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. In the air, out towards right center. Doyle sizes this one up. And that'll do it. So it's four runs for him on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and nobody left on. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Red Sox six and the Rockies. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning, there's Chuck Nasty. Blackman. 
And he hits a ground ball right side. Gonzalez oh. takes it himself. One gone, bottom of the third That's inning. The shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. Here's the shortstop at the play, Ezekiel Tovar. Swings through that one out in front that time. One ball, two strikes. The shortstop takes a ball. Red Sox up 6 1. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Two outs, base is empty. Ryan McMahon getting ready to hit. Two outs. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. One, two, three, go the Rockies. They trail it, 6-1. Cal Quantrill gets handed the rock out of the pen. Still pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. And the batter will be the shortstop, David Hamilton. The shortstop, David Hamilton. Left hand batter waits. Chop to the right side. Tolia steps on the bag and one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. The designated hitter, Rob So the Red Sox lineup turns over. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Rob Ref Snyder. Outside low, and yeah, that's ball two. And that's in for a strike. And a pitch. Up the middle. Oh, he gloves it. Whips it to first on the run. And he gets him. Nicely done. Two outs, base is empty. Still stepping in for Boston, Jaron Duran. Two outs, base is empty. And now two balls and a strike. Right through there for a strike. Next offering upstairs. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And miss struck him out, and it's a three up, three down inning. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They still lead it though, six one. Back here at Coors Field, and now it's Elias Diaz. The catcher, oh, yes. Diaz. kicks and fires. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And the right hater deals. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Here's a one two. On the ground to third. One up, one oh. down. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. Next to hit for the Rockies, Brenton Doyle. He's a guy, Chris, whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Two down. Now back, Sid Baseman. Brenda. Next for Colorado, Brendan Rogers. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. 
That Great one ball. not close. One and now three and one. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Two down. Nobody on. Liner base hit. Couple of hits in a row for him here. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Two outs, runner at first. Michael Tolia digging in for the Rockies. Got the bat going too soon. It's strike two. Two strike. This to center field under this one. He makes the grab, and that is that. The Rockies strand one. The lead remains five. It's 6 1. Back here in Denver, leading off Tyler O'Neill. So here in the three spot, Chris, a hitter, low average, but high slug. Well, one thing he's going to lean on are the metrics. His exit velocity has been really good. He's just had some bad luck hitting the ball right at people. The kick, the 3 2. Hard hit, left side. And the leadoff oh. hitter retired in the fifth. Up next to the left side, the third baseman. Raphael Devers. Here's Raphael Devers. Next That's pitch is three. downstairs. Two balls. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. And a swing and a miss. That's the second out. Well, that splitter out of the hand. It just sort of jumps on you, and your interpretation is here comes a fastball again. Well, it never really reaches because the bottom falls out of it, and you swing over the top, and that's why they call it a split-finger fastball because it looks like a four-seamer. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nothing doing for Boston. They lead it, though, 6-1. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Hunter Goodman. That's to third. Devers throws on to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Now batting, left fielder, Sam Hillier. So up next, Sam Hillier. The Red Sox leading by five. Last half of inning, number five. Towards first, Gonzalez. The flip to the pitcher covering. Home half of the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. So the Rockies lineup turns over. Here's Charlie Blackman. Outside. Three and one. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Two outs. And that's, that's ball, ball four. four. Take your base. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction.
The one one. Good eye in that spot. That's in there, and that is strike two. Gets a piece and stays alive. The pitch. Fly ball down the line. This has got a chance, and it is foul. Well, that ball is hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long strike, you go after him and finish him off. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Ryan McMahon up next for the Rockies. Right into the plate. Down the right field line and a base hit. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. So they're at the corners now. Here's the third baseman, Ryan McMahon. There's a swing and a drive. One run across, hits the top of the wall. Tova around third. He'll score. Two runs are in. It's six to three. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Cooper Criswell is done, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Nick Pavetta will take over here. Big swing and miss stuff right here, Boog. Averaging more than one strikeout per inning this season. So far, he's been pretty electric. Next to hit, Elias Diaz. Man on second, two down. Ball two. In the dirt. No advance. Two, Good job behind the dish. The strategy of winning a ball game, when you could make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Movement in the bullpen. Bailey Horn, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Kelly, the right-hander, also getting loose. Man at second. And now it's filled up. Brenton Doyle and the Colorado on deck circle. Righty delivers. So now two on and two outs. So first and second with two outs. Brenton Doyle digging in for the Rockies. McMahon, the lead runner at second. Diaz on at first with two down. On the ground to third. Throw is high and over his head. They're waving McMahon home. He scores, and it's now a two-run game. Maybe just a little lack of concentration on that throw. Two out, you think you've got the play made. Players are starting to move off the field towards the dugout, and then everyone's got to come back. Sometimes you take that throw for granted, and that's all it takes to keep the inning going. So two on with two away. Here's the second baseman, Brendan Rodgers. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Two strikes. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. That one at 95 missed up top. Two and two. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. And a foul ball. 
The 2-2. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Around third. Here's the throw, and he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. Well, it's pretty difficult to throw a base runner out at the plate with two outs on a base hit to the outfield, but an excellent job of coming up with it, getting rid of it quickly, and throwing on the money. That is great technique from start to finish. Nice job to end the inning. And we're back. Start of the six. Leading John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And Number leading three. off, Romy Gonzalez. Romy Gonzalez. Kicks and deals. Swings through that one. The Rockies have some action in the pen. Ryan Feltner getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Bodnick, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. And a pitch. That oh, one missed. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Swing and a miss at the splitter, and it's a strikeout. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. To third, McMahon zips it to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Two outs, base is empty. Sedane Rafaela up next for the Red Sox. Quattro back to work. Swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. And nope, there's a ball. ball. It's a good take. Red Sox by two. And we're the top half of the sixth. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. The wind of the pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. And the pitch. And that's outside. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. The 1 1 is fouled off. Bounce to third. A sliding stop to first. And it beats him. What a play. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left. Seven, eight, nine, two up in the home half of the inning. It's the Red Sox six and the Rockies four. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the sixth inning. And now the first baseman, Michael Tolia. On the ground, right side, and it hits the bag. And that's a leadoff double. Oh, I'm sure he feels really good about that one. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. Now the right fielder, Hunter Goodman. 
And it's second. And fouled off. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. That's a ball. That one in the dirt, and it's two and two. Boston's bullpen with some activity. Bailey Horn, the rookie left-hander, appears to be getting going. Kelly also throwing. With the tying run at the plate here in the bottom of the sixth. And the righty deals. Three. Got him swinging. Now back, left fielder. Now the left fielder, Sam Hilliard. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, Pogue, not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an in bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Left hand hitter waits. Two balls, one strike. On the ground, finds its way through base hit, fires it to the plate. The tag, and he's out. That really hurts right there. This is no time to gamble. When you're down in the ball game, you've got to be sure if you're going to advance a run or even try to score right there that you're going to be safe. Just a poor decision. So the batting order turns over. Charlie Blackman digs in now. And one and two. One ball, two strikes. Hilliard, the runner at first with two gone. Way inside, gets out of the way. Two outs. Hits and misses, it's a strikeout. So one left for Colorado. They trail it here, six to four. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Ryan Feltner. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the DH, Rob Refsnyder. Rob Refsnyder. The 1 1 is fouled off. And he deals. Now he breaks his bat. Steps on first for the out. So digging in, Jaron Duran. Here's a one to one. High fly ball down the left field line. That one back there. Gone. His 11th of the year, and they add to the lead. It's 7 4. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. Man, he just barely got that one out of here, and you've got to love the effort and left to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it, just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. And next for the Red Sox, Tyler O'Neill. That missed by a lot, and it's two and one. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. Here's a 2-1. And that one clips the corner. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter to thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. And Can't another ball. ball. And it's nope, ball four. He missed down low. 
Well, a great back and forth and that at bad. He had to play off some really close pitches and somehow Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. One run across in the frame so far here in the top half of inning number seven. Run around the move. Ball outside. Throw is low and he can't pick it. Really nice swipe a second right there. He knew he had to get a really good jump on the pitcher because that catcher can make up some time. And such a good catch and throw guy behind the dish. Nice job right there, but he just beat it. Next offer in there for a strike. And out to a two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the air. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. And now the catcher comes up to him. Connor Wong. He gets the intentional walk here and now will force it any base with two gone. The first baseman, number 23. First Romy. and second, two down. And here's the first baseman, Romy Gonzalez. And a pitch. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. O'Neill flies around third. One run is in. Another scores. Two runs in on the play. It's down nine to four. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Victor Vodnik. He's averaging more than one hit allowed per inning pitch this season, and that's not where you want to be at all. So we'll see how he does here. And stepping in for Boston, Jamie Westbrook. Man on second, two down. And another ball. Offering in there for a strike. Two and two now. And down on strikes he goes. Inning over, and it could have been worse. But three score in the inning. Two of them on this two run double. It's opened up now, 9 4. Back here at Coors Field, set for the last half of the seventh. And now here is Ezekiel Tovar. That's that one missed. Strike two. Here comes a pitch. Stays alive. Pitch. Tobar checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. Nope, he held back. Right side, O'Neill moving under this one. Brings it in. And there's one down. Now batting, third baseman. Ryan, Ryan McMahon, the next McMahon. to hit. One down, base is empty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. 
Right handed reliever. On the ground to first. Out on the off balance throw. The catcher, number 35. Alias Diaz. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the Rockies' cleanup hitter, Elias Diaz. The Red Sox leading by five. Here, the bottom of the seventh. Pitch is in there. One and two. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Got him. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Rockies are down quietly. They trail it here, nine, four. Back here in Denver, we're at the top of the eighth. Here's the center fielder, Zidane Rafaela. And here it comes. And that's too high. You know, these Red Sox, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. It's been a real team effort. Already seven extra base hits, so that goes to show they're getting contributions from top to bottom. Nobody's doing that by themselves. And the 2-2. Two -two. And they'll do it again. Right-hander kicks deals. That one 95 to finish him off. Man, there was no deviating from the fastball right there. He just kept Up coming after him with it. Here it is. Hit it if you can. And he just couldn't find a way to put it in play. Now it's the shortstop, David Hamilton. One down, base is empty. And a good eye there. And a foul ball. Base is empty one away. And we're in the top of the eighth. On the ground to first. Sneaks through. Base head. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. The throw in. The tag. Now. Gotta love the hustle and the attitude there to try to stretch that single into a double. But unfortunately thrown out at second base. He was so close to being in scoring position. Next to hit, Rob Ref Snyder. At the belt and fires. Fastball for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Up the middle. Rogers Got throws it. the first. That's out number three. One, two, three go the Red Sox. They're on top, however, nine, four. Zach Kelly on to pitch here. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called now, upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. Yeah. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. Brenton Doyle now at the plate. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. The wind and the pitch. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. All over that one right there. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield.